Enceladus. Discovered in 1789 by William Herschel, it is the sixth largest moon of Saturn, and it is most notable for having an ocean underneath the ice crust that was discovered because the surface was very flexible. And later, when geysers were spotted spewing water vapor on its surface, the existence of the ocean was confirmed. But it is a tiny moon with having a diameter of only 500 kilometers and a surface area similar to that of Chile. It is one of the smallest round moons in the solar system. So let's travel to this tiny oceanic moon and let's stand on its surface and see what it feels like. So looking at Enceladus from space, it would seem as if you are looking at a big snowball. But as you would approach this snowball, large canyons and craters would appear, with structures similar to another oceanic moon called Europa. Sending a foot onto the surface in your spacesuit and looking around, it would seem as if you landed on Antarctica without a serious atmosphere. Except on Enceladus, the average temperature is minus 200 Celsius, much colder. That's because it is nine times more further away from the sun than the Earth is. Looking in a distance, it would all depend on where you landed. So let's say you landed on this rigid region. As you would stand, the ground would feel very icy and it would be shiny and reflective. And that's because the surface is composed mainly of water ice. The landscape would be rough with long, large canyons that would be stretching throughout the whole view. And the shadows which they would cast would be very dark, but there would not be many craters in this region. In the distance, you may even spot a slight haze of water vapor. That vapor came from the inner ocean. As you would move around, you would feel extremely light, and that's because Enceladus's gravity is around 90 times weaker than the Earth's gravity. So you would be that much less heavier. This means that you would move a lot more easily and there would be much less exhaustion, and you would be able to jump many times higher. So even when you come across a canyon that is more than a kilometer deep, despite the fact that it would seem enormous, you could travel across it pretty easily and fast. That would make the whole moon seem even tinier than it is. Now, if you were in the South Polar region of Enceladus, here things would get quite intense, because if you are there in the right time, you may even spot an eruption of one of the geysers. If you did, well, you would see water vapor shot 100 kilometers above the surface, making the whole surrounding area very gassy and shaky. Now, there is also a cratered region and a smooth region on Enceladus, where there would be a lot less activity going on. So, as you would look up into the sky, if you were in the right place, you would see Saturn it would pretty much take up the whole view, as the distance between Enceladus and Saturn is closer than the distance of our moon and the Earth. But also Saturn is many times larger than the Earth. You could fit 764 Earths inside Saturn. So you can only imagine how enormous would Saturn appear from Enceladus. What you also would see is other moons of Saturn. And there is one ring which Enceladus pretty much made through ejecting water vapor. That also relates to the fact that Enceladus is losing 200 kilograms a second. And if this continues, in 4.5 billion years, Enceladus will lose 30% of its mass. Another interesting thing is that Enceladus may have formed in as little as 100 million years ago, meaning ants as species are older than this moon, and would also mean that the Earth is 46 times older. So, standing on Enceladus would be pretty exciting, as you would know that below you is a huge ocean many kilometers deep. There could even be possible simple forms of life in the oceans of this tiny moon. So we should keep on exploring this moon, and one day we may get to land on it.